In this video, I'll be showing you how to merge two Notion databases into one. So here we have the example that I'll be using throughout this video. We have two separate databases, both of which are expense trackers. They have slightly different properties. And what we want to do is merge them into one single database. Now, the first thing you'll want to do before we get started is place your databases on the same page, just like I have. So you can either place them side by side in two columns like this, or you can just place them one underneath each other. If your databases are on different pages, then there are a few different ways that you can move them. You'll either want to select the six dots here next to the database and select move to, and then search for the page that you want to send it to. And once you click on the page, it will simply just send the database to that page. Or otherwise you can also set up a link to view of the database. So if you just type in forward slash table and select this table view, you can select the database here from the list. So let me just grab my expense tracker and that will just pull through a linked view of the exact same database. So you can use this to merge the databases. Okay. So now that we have the two databases on the exact same page, we can now go about merging them together. So it's actually pretty easy to merge the databases. You can actually just drag entries from one database, drag it into the other database and it will be added. But there are a few things that we need to do first to ensure that this works properly. So let me just go back. So first of all, for any properties that appear in both databases, we want to ensure that the property names match exactly. So as an example on these databases, I have this property here, which is the cost of property. So this is where you'll input the amount for the expense. Now on this database, we have the exact same property, but on this database, I've labeled it as amount. Now for this to work correctly, these need to exactly match. Otherwise, when I drag something across, it's going to add the cost property as a new property when really this property is exactly the same as this property. So I just want this to appear here. So let me just go back. So to fix that, you simply just want to make sure that the property names match. So let's just go in here and change this to amount. So now that I've changed the name to amount, if I drag this over now, as you can see, the amount here is now showing up correctly in the amount column. And you'll also want to ensure that the property types are the same as well. So for example, this is a number property. So this should also be a number property. So if you have any select or multi-select properties like this one, you need to make sure that on the other database, it is also the exact same type of property. So as you can see, we have this category property here where I can select which type of expense it is. Now this property is a select property on both of the databases, which is perfect. But if this was actually a multi-select, so let me just change it. So I've changed this to a multi-select, which means you can select multiple options rather than just a single option. But now that I've done that, if I drag one of these entries across, it's not going to recognize that these are the same property because they're a different property type. And so it is simply just added another property for category. And in reality, I want both of these to be the exact same property. So let's just go back. So you want to make sure that all of these are the same property type as well as the same property name. So let's change the type back to a select property. And now when I drag this over, because this category property is the same name and the same type, it's correctly pulling through the data and converting this into one property. Now, the other thing that you need to know about the select or multi-select properties is that when you merge databases, unfortunately, it will not merge any select options. So if the option already exists in the other select property, then it will transfer over fine. So I just showed you this example with this one. So if I drag this over, it's bringing up the select option correctly. And that's because the rent option that I had over in this database is an option on this database. But for example, on here, I have this shopping option. Now shopping isn't an option in this one, but if I drag this over, like so. As you can see, this box is now empty and that's because there is no shopping option in here. Unfortunately, Notion is not able to add any select options into this property. So let's go back. So the way around this is you'll simply want to check the options in any of your select properties and add them as options into the other property and the other database before you transfer this over. So I'm going to add shopping as an option, hit enter. And as you can see, that's now an option. So now if I grab this one and pull it over because we added shopping as an option, it's correctly able to pull that through. So you basically just want to ensure that you have the same options inside the select properties on each of the two databases. So once you've made sure that 
all the property names and types match up, we can now merge the databases. So what you want to do is simply highlight all of the rows in one of the databases. And you can do that by clicking this button here and that will highlight all the rows. If you have more than 50 items in your database, then you will see a load more button appear at the bottom. So you'll want to click that to make sure that all of the rows within the database are viewable and are highlighted. Otherwise you can just do this process twice if you don't end up highlighting all of the rows. So once you've highlighted the rows, you'll want to click on the six dots here and simply just drag them over and drop them here in the other database. So once you've done that, as you can see, all of the data has been moved. So for any properties with the same name and type, those properties will simply have been merged into one like this amount property here. For any that didn't exist in the other database, Notion will simply have added a new property like this paid from property here. So obviously for any properties that didn't exist in the other database, they will show blank as you can see here. So you will just need to manually update them or you can leave them blank if it's not that important. And you can also bulk update the icons if you need to. So in this example, I use different icons in the two databases. So if you want to alter all of them, you can simply use this button again to highlight all of the rows, click on the six dots, select icons, and you can choose an icon. So let's just go with the circle icon like this one. And as you can see, that's updated them all. Now, finally, I did just want to also explain what to do if you have any relation property. So I've just unmerged the databases and I've added this relation property. So in this example, we have a separate database that lists all of our different bank accounts. And on this tracker, you can select which bank account you used to pay for this experience. Expense. So on the previous example, I had a select property. So let's click on here and just delete that property as instead we now have this relation property. Now, the only problem with relation properties when it comes to merging databases is that unfortunately, when you drag something over to the other database, unfortunately, Notion will not duplicate this relation property. Now, even if you had an identical relation property on here, Notion will still not duplicate it. So if we just quickly add a relation and I'm relating it to the exact same accounts database example, Example, which is this one. So these are the exact same relation property related to the same database with the same name, but still if I drag something over for some reason, Notion will not copy over the data at all. Now, there are a couple of ways that we can get around this. So firstly, if you only have a relation property on one of the databases, so let me just delete this one. So in this case, there's only a relation property on this database and not on this one. If you're in that scenario, then the best thing to do is simply drag the entries over from the database without the property into the database with the property. So if I dragged all of these over here, so with this method, as you can see, the relation property is still there and you can simply just update the property for the new entries as it never existed on the previous database anyway so these would be blank either way so you can just update it or not if it's not that important however if you're in this situation where you have a relation property on both of the databases then here's what you can do instead so what you'll need to do is on one of the databases you'll want to convert this relation property into a text property so I'm going to click on edit property and change the type here to a text property and it will simply just turn that relation into links to the pages here in the accounts database now this is technically a text property now and not a relation. So if I then drag these items over into this database, what I will do is add a separate property for this new accounts text property. Now it won't merge them together because remember if the properties have different types, then it will just add a new one rather than creating the same one. But now that we have these properties, we can simply copy this data over into this property. So if you don't have that much data in your database, then you can simply just click on here and select the corresponding option like this and then delete this property when you're done. However, if you have a lot of data in your database, then then the easiest thing to do is to bulk edit these entries. So for each of the different options within this property, you simply want to click on here and add a filter. So let's start with the credit card. So if I type credit card into here, it's only bringing up entries that have credit card in this property. So now I want to copy this data over here so I can simply just highlight all of the rows. So you might have 50 or 100 rows, so you can highlight them all here. And if you look up here, you'll see all of the properties within the table. So if you find the one that you want, which is this accounts relation, you can click on here and bulk edit all of them. So let's select credit card. And as you can see, it's now added that for all of the different rows. So as you can imagine, if you had hundreds of rows, it would do that all for you in one go. You can then simply just amend the filter to find the other options like this. And then when you're done, you can simply delete the filter and you can also delete this accounts text property as well. 
and now you've successfully merged that relation property into one. And that's it. That is how you can merge databases in Notion. You can check out all of my pre-made Notion templates over on my store, including this super advanced second brain template, which is an all-in-one productivity system. I'll leave a link in the description box below. And if you found this video useful, then I'd really appreciate if you could give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as I upload new Notion tutorials every single week.